with putting these terms between us and them and saying, no, no, I only work on these terms and this is my fee schedule. Yeah. And a fee schedule is nothing more than saying, if you want me to build a fence for you, it's going to cost this much. If you want me to build a house for you, it's going to cost this much. Yeah. I don't work for your rates. I will tell you what my rates are. And if you like them, contract with me. If you don't, fuck off and find someone who will. <laughs> yeah. Right? And your, your human rights are no different than building a deck for somebody. If you want to force me to do something, if, you're gonna, if you come and throw a chain on my neck and force me to build a deck for you, whether you do it by force or whether we do it by agreement, it's going to cost you the same amount of money. Hmm. Because by forcing me to do it, you've agreed to the terms of my offer. Yeah. So you owe me money, fuckface. <laughs> and that's now contract. That's now an issue of contract, isn't it? That is now a contract issue, and now you're taking them to Queen's Bench, which is common law court. Yeah, which is where contract issues are heard. Which is where contract issues are heard. Mm. Correct. Wow. Yeah, Very you're going to have a lot to talk about in the next couple of weeks now on uh, online. Yeah, I am. There's a lot of things I need to go and read up about there. But that makes sense, though, overall. That was crystal clear. That does make, It almost makes too much sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so now you, yeah. you tell me how difficult your argument with the crown is going to be now. I follow the logic. I just need to, I need a little bit of practical experience. Just so You're going to need to sit on that for a couple of days and let it consolidate and go through a couple of holy fuck moments. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot to take in all at once, but that, that's the case. And the funny part is all our research in Canada has uncovered this, going all the way back to the UK. Wow. And how are people getting on over there? Are people, it's like, do you hear kind of, you know, regular kind of success stories and stuff? Um, yeah, people are starting to, 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 get their, to get their bravery back here. They're starting to grow some balls again. Um, there's always been a pretty large group of us that have been fighting, but over the last 10 years, a lot of people gave up because it really seemed to go nowhere yeah. until now. And now people are realizing, oh, shit, you know, we do have remedy. It is available to us. And now we know how to go after it. And now that we understand what's going on, because, I mean, a, a lot of the stuff I talk about is news to people, and I didn't know that. Yeah. I had no idea. And people are like, fuck, man, I can't believe how simple this is. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's great about the way you explain things. I think a whole lot of us have just been looking at things just in a complicated way, you know, and not really seeing... You know the truth through the trees, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think um, I think Max even said that. Max said everybody's always looking for a complicated answer, and uh, he said to me, he goes, he goes, but for some reason it it takes it takes a genius to come along and say, no, no, look, you've been looking at the solution. It's this little simple thing right here, hmm. but you're trying to look past that to find what's behind it. Yeah. And there's nothing behind it. It this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing in the little red ball that makes it bounce. I really feel that pretty soon, over the next year or two, you know, there's going to be more and more people joining up all the dots and making it happen and getting their remedy and making it work. I reckon at some point there's going to be like a tipping point, you know, where it just, everyone's doing it kind of thing. Uh-huh. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want to do some kind of a little radio thing where we go over everything that we just talked about right now. Sure. That probably wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad idea because I think that if a bunch of people in the UK finally realized that, I, I actually thought you guys knew this stuff. No, actually, my Skype records this anyway. Like, I wouldn't have put it up without your permission, but this is recorded yeah. anyway. But or we could oh, do. Oh, great! Yeah, so I could put it up. I've recorded yeah, this. Yeah, no, please put. The, you actually have my permission to put this out. Great, cool. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have done it without your permission, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this just needs to be out there. This kind of information. I mean, it's not like the. It's not like we're uncovering something, you know, that uh, that, that you know, like oh man, like they're gonna come and kill you now. I mean, no, there, there's signs up around London. <laughs> this is a sovereign, as uh, the sovereign state right here. Yeah. It's a sovereign state, and it is a crown corporation known as the crown. Yeah. I don't care what country in the world you are in. If you, if you are an IMF nation and you have courts where someone like the state or the crown's coming after you. It, it all goes back to that. Yeah. 
Wow. Cool. Right. The, people need to hear this. Then we can all go away and study what you just said and go go and implement yeah. it and look it oh, up yeah. and stuff. Go dig it up and have somebody that has some charges that are pending contact the Crown and ask them that. Say, excuse me, you call yourself the Crown. Could you please clarify which Crown? Yeah. Are you representing Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor, who's sworn to uphold the common law and God's law? Or are you the Crown Corporation known as the, the, the independent nation city-state of London? Right. And they can't answer that question, so they're going to have to go silent. Yeah. And just say, based on, based on your actions, I'm guessing you're this Crown Corporation. Because I really don't think that I've injured Queen Elizabeth in some way. <laughs> yeah. To say, so, so if that's who you are, then I need to see a contract between our two parties, please. Yeah. Well, you've just destroyed their entire case. It's done. And then, you, like you said, you then go back to the court and say, look, I sent them this. They didn't respond, you know, and, and you put the appropriate terms and conditions in there so that they know if they don't respond, then it's, yep. they've lost you by wanna default. You want to phrase it in a way that you can prove that you have agreement with yeah. your adversary. Agree with thine adversary quickly, lest he drag you before the magistrate and turn you over to the jailer. Okay? Yeah. Agreement doesn't mean you agree with whatever they say. Agreement means you get them to agree with you that they have no claim against you. Hmm. By not providing the contract. Great, we have agreement. So you let the courts know that. Hey, there's no need for a hearing. I have agreement with the Crown that they have no jurisdiction because they can't produce a contract. Yeah. Yeah, that may... And do you need to kind of motion the court to dismiss Absolutely. It? Motion to dismiss. Right. <laughs> I think I heard you tell that story. Was it your brother yeah. that, that did that or something? Yeah, yeah, he was, he was, he, yeah, I, I, it was my bad. I told him to quash, but there was no, there was no motion to quash. It was the charges before the court, so it was to dismiss. So they didn't, and this, that was even Queen's bench. That wasn't even summary conviction. Right. Because uh, there, there was no, there was no contract to enforce either there, and he wasn't allowing arbitration in his case. So the, uh, they didn't know what to do with him, but that's all gone away. So if he had just said motion to dismiss, and the other party didn't 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 dispute it because they can't. They have to produce evidence. That's another thing people have to realize that these crown prosecutors, these lawyers, uh, they can't testify. They can only produce evidence and facts in court. If they're saying anything that they haven't provided a fact or evidence for, then you have to object. Object to that. Objection. Crown is testifying objection he's testifying without any facts or evidence have him take the stand or be sworn in objection strike everything he said from the record because he has no facts or evidence of that in his filings oh i see and then if you don't object then it goes you've agreed you've agreed right so so most of us the mistake we make is we don't we don't object to what they're doing properly of course right of course and if you don't object then what's uh, the, the guy sitting on the bench what's he going to do nothing and it's not his duty to tell you anything. Right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah with, with these few little things, people could walk into court with an arsenal and just fucking destroy people in there. <laughs> yeah. This is what I've been spending my time trying to learn recently. I think it obviously it's knowledge that you've had for a while because you've, you've had a lot of experience with court and stuff. But recently I've been trying to learn about, you know, just the way you know, I'm new to it all, the way the court works, the procedure, how to motion and things like that. Yep. And, I, and I think once a lot of the, you know, the free man sovereign community catches up with on that side of things, you know, how to, you know, just the practical things of how to move the court, then I think a lot of us are going to be able to implement our, our position more effectively, you know. Yeah, and when you motion the court, the court's working for you now. Right. It's your motion before the court. They're working for you. Hmm. Right? And if the Crown ever tries to st tries to, 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 to motion a court to strike your motion uh, because it's frivolous and vexatious or something else stupid like that, hmm. right, then you just object right away and say, you know, ob objection. He, he's offered no facts or evidence for that. Right. He's offered no facts or evidence that it's frivolous or vexatious. So I want his stricken from the record with prejudice so he can't bring that up again. I see, I see. And does all this have to be done with a hearing, or can, can motions and objections no. be done just with paperwork? Or... Mo motions can be done with paperwork, of course, but then the hearing is where it's heard. Oh, I right? see.
But if you but if you deal with it in advance by doing what I said before there by contacting the crown and establishing who they are and that they don't have a contract, hmm. when you contact the crown, the, the court, all you have to do is say the crown has agreed with me that there's no need for a hearing, so cancel it because we have agreement that they don't have any jurisdiction over me in the first place. And then the judge is doing a summary decision in your favour because the facts are decided. Of course. He has to decide in your favour. Yeah. Otherwise he's now damaging you. He's now assuming liability. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing in dispute. So your paperwork shows there's nothing, there's no facts to try. Yep. Because the record shows that they've agreed and there's no nothing to the contrary sort of thing. There things. you go. And you're the only one that can swear out an affidavit or produce any facts of any relevance. Why? Because you're a man and they're a corporation. Right. So they are fucked. They are <laughs> fucked no matter what you do, no matter what they do. <laughs> I see. Yeah, that that never occurred to me before. Yeah, the, a corporation can't make an affidavit, can they? No, of course not. So this this is why people have to understand where our power comes from, and that's why people have heard it before, and they're just like, oh yeah, I've heard that before. You know, when you you'll understand the power you have when you understand who you are. Yeah. Clearly, clearly, I know who I am, and that's why I know the power we have in the courts. When things are, when you, when you do things properly, obviously there's still some procedure we got to follow, or it would just be chaos. Hmm. But the best thing you can do is get agreement with your adversary before you go to court. Before. Yeah, that's like Winston says, court. isn't it? Of course, agree with him before he drags you before the magistrate. Well, guess what? You're given three weeks to a month to do that before your first hearing. Yeah. So yeah. if you're not doing it, you're lazy. I don't then... exactly. I don't exactly understand why can't the attorney, the prosecuting attorney, do an affidavit. I don't quite understand. Because he has no first-hand knowledge of the facts. Number one. Right. Because he's a legal fiction. He doesn't exist. He's a corporation. He's a corporate entity, and he has no standing in the matter whatsoever. Right. He's not a man in court. He's a corporation. Look, point at him and say that. See, this guy is a corporation. Right. I don't and he quite, has no contract with me. I don't quite get it. I haven't quite grasped uh, why... You will. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you just you got to sit on that for a few days and roll it around in your head and do some more research and maybe even listen to this a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Right? He's yeah. a licensed legal fiction. He cannot... He cannot give testimony, he cannot testify, he can only present facts and evidence to the court unless you don't, uh, unless you allow him to testify. Right. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I'll need to ponder that a bit, I think. Yeah, that's why they spout off a bunch of nonsense and bullshit for 10-15 minutes, and then they produce no facts backing it. And like you said, if if they want to do that and present information, you need you want to get them on the stand under oath or whatever it's called. Which they can't even do. That's the that's that's the that's the catch twenty two to the situation. They can't take the stand and give evidence. Right. They I have see. no first hand knowledge of the event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that does that does kind of make sense now, yeah. Yeah. Even their witnesses don't have any first hand knowledge of the event. Because their witnesses are claiming uh, like a cop claiming you did something, right? Hmm. And then the Crown is claiming that that's in violation of a contract contractual obligation where you said you wouldn't do that hmm. by according to this statute. Problem is, there's no contract. Yeah. So now that cop has just admitted to harming your human rights. Yes, I see. Yeah, yeah. But with no contract in the way where you agree to do certain things, then there's yeah, he's he's yeah, he's 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 he's, he's uh, violated your human rights by basically. He'd just provided you. all the testimony you would ever need to take him to Queen's Bench and sue the shit out of him. <laughs> so that's why you want to go get full disclosure from the Crown. Yeah. Because they're going to give you the sworn statements, alleged sworn statements by these people that physically harmed you. <laughs> yeah, I see. So their own witness statements, or whatever they're called, are, 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 they're, kind of, they're testifying against themselves in the end. Yep. And you let the Crown know that this isn't a private matter now either. Because uh, I, I think I spoke about that in one of the videos about how these summary uh, summary convictions hearings are internal tribunals. They're private. They're considered to be private law society or bar association tribunals. Yeah. So you let them know in advance, no, no, this is a matter of public record, and I'm going to be making this all a matter of public record. 
Well, yeah. they're not going to want to go anywhere near